Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how the timer blocks works. We will start off by showing the FX0 PLC version of the timer block first. So first, we will add a timer function block to our program. It is called timer 100 FBM. I have already set up the three tags needed for this function block. We will need 2-bit tags and one 16-bit word tag for this function block. Let's add the tags to the block. The coil input is the bit tag that will start the timer. Value out is the 16 bit tag that will keep track on how much the timer have counted up. The status output is a bit tag that will go high once the block have counted its preset value. Then we can set what will be the preset value and the value we want our timer to start at. Now let's compile and simulate the program and see how it works. You will see now that I trigger the coil input the block will start counting from 0 to 10 milliseconds. And once it reaches 10 milliseconds the status output will go high. Now I will change the preset value to 20 milliseconds and the starting value to 5 milliseconds. It will now start to count from 5 to 20. Now we will see how the newer FX series PLC's timer blocks differentiates from the FX0 PLC. As you can see here this series of PLC have T on counter block, but it also have the old version if preferred. I also made the tags needed for this block here. It is very similar to the old block, but here we use time data type instead of 16-bit word. The in input is a bit tag that will start the timer. Q output is a bit tag that will go high once the preset value is reached. ET stands for elapsed time and is how much the timer have counted up and PT is preset time. It tells how much we will count up to. It can be declared as seconds, minutes, milliseconds, or whichever you like. Now let's compile and simulate to see how it works.
In this series of PLC, we also got the T off block. It works the same as the T on block. The only difference is that the Q output will be active as long as the timer is counting up to its preset time, then it will go low again. I made a small program to show how the timer block could be used. Similar to the previous video, I used my same function block. But now, it will set each output for every 2 millisecond the timer block have counted up to. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe. In the next video, we will go through how to use the F trig and our trig blocks.